Hello, my name is Niloy Lahiri. I'm a fourth year med student here at Indiana University School of Medicine, and I'll be giving a talk about abdominal aortic aneurysm screening. Here are the objectives. So from my literature review, I found that practically a AAA is diagnosed when the aorta diameter is greater than three centimeters. Also, ultrasound screening has a very high sensitivity at 94 to 100 percent, and also a very high specificity at 98 to 100 percent. Approximately 48 percent of men over the age of 65 have a AAA. Risk factors for a AAA include older age, male sex, smoking, and having a first-degree relative with a AAA. Interestingly, there's a dose-response relationship between smoking and getting a AAA. Uh, family history of a AAA and a first-degree relative actually doubles the risk of developing a AAA. Now, risk factors for rupture, interestingly, includes older age, but now female sex, also smoking and elevated blood pressure. Now, uh, screening is important because it significantly decreased not only AAA-related mortality, but also all-cause mortality and emergent AAA repair. Now, why should we... Uh, do an ultrasound to screen for a AAA? Well, that's because most AAAs are actually asymptomatic until they rupture. And rupture leads to massive blood loss and death. So it's important to screen for a AAA. Surgical repair is standard practice for men with a AAA of 5.5 centimeters. And this is because I found an article that shows that there is a 11% chance of a AAA rupture when it is between 5 and 5.9 centimeters in diameter. And per the USP STF guidelines, they have a B grade recommendation for AAA screening in the US in men aged 65 to 75 years old who smoked, and also a C grade recommendation in men aged 65 to 75 years old who have not smoked. To measure the abdominal aorta, for a AAA, we'll be using a curvilinear probe. If you only have a phased array probe, that is also fine, but if you have the option between the two, a curvilinear probe is ideal. I'll be viewing the abdominal aorta in the transverse view, with the probe marker facing towards the patient's right, and I'll be going from the distal portion, right above the umbilicus, all the way to the proximal portion of the abdominal aorta, underneath the sub xiphoid process. Here we can see the aorta, the IVC. If I fan downwards, I can see the bifurcation of the aorta into the left and right iliac arteries. Here we see the vertebral body. Now moving proximally, I know this is the aorta because it has a thicker wall. It is not compressible as the IVC is. Here is the SMA. One pitfall is if the patient has a obese body habitus or if there's too much bowel gas. I'm counteracting the bowel gas by putting a constant downward pressure. Now, since I'm in the proximal end of the abdominal aorta, I'll rotate my probe 90 degrees with the probe marker patient pointing towards the patient's head. Now we see the SMA branching off the aorta in a longitudinal view. Now I'll just be going distally to make sure I see the whole aorta. Abdominal aorta, you can see it pulsing. Now I'll be getting the diameter of the abdominal aorta in both the AP axis and also the width. And one impor very important thing is to measure the diameter from the outer wall to the outer wall, as you can see here. So here's the AP diameter, around two centimeters. And as for the width, it is around 2.2 centimeters. So this patient does not have a AAA since it's uh, less than 3 centimeters. Here we see some images of abdominal aortic aneurysms. So on the left image, the outer circle is the abdominal aortic aneurysm, whereas this hyperechoic bit is a thrombus, which is not, which is pretty common in AAAs. 
And this is why it's important to measure uh, the AAA from the outer wall to the outer wall, so we get the whole aneurysm. Whereas if we did inner wall to inner wall, this is just the lumen. Similar concept uh, in the right image, where we also see a very large aneurysm, uh, AAA. We also have a thrombus, which is a bit more hyperechoic. And here is the smaller lumen. So we measure from outer wall to outer wall to get the AAA.